Hello, welcome to the next part of the literature lesson. Like we said, we are looking at the lazy man. What is this poem about? The poem is about laziness. When you look at this man, people are already working, he's still in his bed, he's turning over this side and that side, and yet, the others, the farmer is in the garden. Those who carry water are already at the river. The spinners are doing their cotton. The weaver is at his cloth. The blacksmith is already working on his iron. But this lazy man, all he does is to complain. He stretches. These are signs of laziness. Stretching, yawning. All that is laziness. Now, apart from that idea of laziness, we notice that this lazy man is very irresponsible. Irresponsible because he moves from house to house looking for soup, looking for food. How can a man of his caliber, a man who has wives, move from house to house looking for food? instead of providing for his family. Now, when you look at the lazy man, there is also that idea of disrespect. This man is disrespected because he cannot look after his wives. And in the poem, we are told that when his wives reach puberty, rich men will help him to marry them. This is ironical because how do you marry someone? Then at the end of the day, another person comes up and takes up that responsibility. Despite the fact that we have a lazy man, there are other people who are very hardworking. There is that idea of hard work. Why? The farmer does the work, the water carriers do their work, the spinners do their work, the weaver does his work and the blacksmith does his work. These people are very hard working and at the end of the day, there is that product that they produce because of their hard work. There is also that idea of poverty. When you don't work, you become poor. Now, the lazy man has basically nothing. You'd have said that he has wives because possibly wives are a source of wealth, but even the wives, he cannot look after them. And at the end of the day, the rich men pick them and take them. So basically, in this poem, it is about laziness, it is about disrespect, it is about irresponsibility, it is about hard work, it is about poverty. Now, when we look at this poem, there are sayings, there are lessons that we pick from it. For example, the early bird catches the worm. All these people wake up very fast, very early, and they go and do their work. That is why they are able to get something out of their work. We also realize that in this same poem there is that lesson we learn that hunger knows no boundary we are now going to look at feelings what feelings do we have towards this lazy man and after looking at the feelings in our next lesson we shall look at how the poet was able to present the message. What are those poetic devices that the poet used? So, feelings towards the lazy man. What are your feelings towards this lazy man? Many of us would feel disgusted. Why? Because he hates work. 
No one loves staying with somebody who doesn't like working. We also sympathize with the wives. Why? Because they have a husband who cannot look after them. We also feel angry. Why do we feel angry? We feel angry because people are giving food to someone who hates doing work. So thank you very much. Let's prepare ourselves for the next lesson.